So this is my hand control go tanks. Um, not it, pretty different, but not too different concept wise when it comes to other green decks that you know manipulate the hand. So go tanks has auto ability when this card attacks your opponent's leader. If you have less cards in hand than your opponent, your opponent chooses one card from the hand and place into a drop area. And then you awaken we have four or less life. Draw two cards, flip them all, right? He's on the awakening side. His auto ability when this card attacks your opponent's leader, if you have less cards than your opponent, your opponent chooses one card in the hand, place it into the drop area. Auto, second auto ability when this card attacks, draw one card. So both sides have the same thing except you get to draw a card in the process when you are awakened. And in this deck you don't need to really awaken, but if you do, that's just more advantage for you. So the going strategy here is to make sure you have more cards in your hands than your opponent for combo purposes and then of course you want to have less cards in your hands than your opponent to trigger to trigger your leader's effect so we have energy power go tanks he's 15k when he attacks when this card attacks a leader card your opponent chooses one card from their hand and places it into the drop area so of course this is just another way of getting another go tanks on the field right because you attack your leader when you have less cards in your hand to make your opponent lose a card from the hand then you want to combo to you know get some damage in there and make it hard for them to block if they do manage to to block all right that's way less cards in the hands now right but if they don't block because you took away the ability to for them to properly be able to block then the attack will go through right which more likely they'll get a card because you you know you hit the life, so they get a life card into their hand. So then you attack with energy power gold tanks. Attack the leader. Then your opponent chooses one of those cards in the hand, send it to the graveyard, and then if they want to block, then they could try to block, but if they can't, the attack will go through, dealing them damage. Another life card to their hand, but they at least now they're at a you know at a, at a disadvantage because you're dealing them damage to their life now they gain a couple cards but you were able to get rid of some cards prior for them getting gaining so it's almost like they got nothing it's almost like critical right and then of course you're going to use other cards in this deck to draw as well as get rid of cards from your point attack but mainly you're going to do a lot of drawing so you always have the advantage, so you can always try to out combo your opponent, which is the main thing is always to be able to out combo your opponent, so that way your hits always land, which is what you want to do. So then we have, because um, critical is a good effect, of course. So we have our green critical, the promo Gohan. He has an auto effect when this when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. So it's great. It's it lets you get rid of one of your opponent's battle cards and then you can attack his leader of course and try to go for that critical hit boost and because you're boosting right you're comboing your hands will be less than your opponent and because of your hands less than your opponent when you attack your leader your leader's effect will trigger to make them lose a card from the hand and so forth and so forth so just by comboing you making sure you have less cards than your opponent when you attack with a battle card and then attack with your leader. That's what you want to do the most is you want to attack your battle with your battle cards and then attack with your leader. Then we have Hidden Awakened Kale. She has she's 20k, she has critical, so that's another you have another crit, critical attacker in the deck. So that's less cards your opponent will have in their hands because the cards will go to graveyard instead, right? And when you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, KO it, then choose any number of your opponent's battle cards, of which the total cost adds up to five or less, and KO them. So that's always good, right? Then you have the other auto ability. When this card attacks, if you have five or less cards in your hand, draw one card. 
which you pretty much will since you'll be comboing a lot. You're definitely going to have five or less cards in your hand, so you'll be able to gain a card back from Kale's ability. And then, of course, you can use that to help you combo with your leader and get more advantage out of that, making your opponent lose more cards and so forth and so forth. So you're always trying to make sure your opponent has less cards. You're always trying to get more cards. You want to combo to keep your hands low. You don't want to just keep drawing, 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 keep making your hands bigger, bigger. You want to, you want to use your hands because you're going to replenish it, so use it. Don't hesitate to use your hands because you're going to get a whole new hand. You're going to replenish it when you attack. Expanding Energy Android, 17, double strike. It's good to deal two damage, especially when you want to finish your opponent off. Um, auto ability when this card attacks, draw cards until you have four cards in hand. So if you have less than four cards, so if you have three cards, you'll draw a card. If you have two cards, you draw two. If you have one card, you'll draw three. If you have no cards, you'll draw four, right? Not hard to understand. So go crazy, go combo, right? Just combo, combo deal a lot of damage to your opponent get your attacks to go through and then just replenish your hands in, in crouching terror android 19 so android 19 it's the 5k but when it attacks you draw a card and then this card gains 5k so it becomes a 10k when it attacks for the duration of the turn and you know every turn you can attack with it and draw a card attack with it draw a card and of course, whatever you, you draw, you can combo with, making them even stronger. Uh, you mainly want to use him to attack your opponent's battle cards. Um, but of course, you can go for the leader. But mainly, you want to attack his battle cards to try to get rid of them, plus gain hand advantage. And then use your hand advantage to power up your leader to go in and deal some damage. Especially if you um, you want to use that extra advantage to power stuff like Kale or like you know Gohan, so that we can guarantee their critical effect. Then we have Iron Hammer of Justice Android 16. He's a block with revenge. Enough said, right? But he has a really good auto ability. When this card Kale is your opponent's battle card, switch this card to active mode. So if you boost it um, to so yeah, if you combo with it to make it stronger so it can kill something, it can stand, which is always good. Um, that way you can attack and be able to block. And then it has block with revenge, which is always good. Android 20 will let you search out any of your Android cards. It lets you get 16, 17, or 19. So it's just like another copy of any one of those cards. Uh, double check and spend a while. Yeah, other than Android 20, so you can't get a copy of himself. But you can grab everything else. Then we have Trunks Protective Children. He's your 0k, 10k, plus draw a card if you have four or less life. So he's just there. Cell Absorption. I like putting this card in any deck that has green. And of course, this is hand control, so activate. Main, your opponent chooses two cards from their hand and places them to the drop area. So for four energy, you can make your opponent discard two cards from their hands. And you can do this before you attack, so that way it would be harder for them to combo. But of course, you can use this after you attack. For example, if you attack with a double striker, you know, and, and get some damage in there. For example, if you attack with expanding energy Android 17. Double strike, deal two damage. Your opponent draws those two cards from their life, and then you can get rid of them with self absorption. Then we have full power energy. It's a counter attack, negate an attack, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and KO uh, uh, energy, a card, a battle card that has energy cost of one or less. So not only can you defend yourself, but you can also remove something from your opponent's board and by getting rid of something in their battle area that means they have to replace it right that's one less card from their hand so that's more hand control because you're forcing them to use more resources especially if they want to attack you they gotta play something right 
Enrage, Gohan Awakening, another counter attack card. Place one card from your hand into the drop area. Choose one of your opponents attacking battle and cards and KO it. So, this definitely can protect you, of course. Plus, get rid of whatever was attacking you, which is always good. More and more control is always good. Father and Son, go um, um, Command Man, Active Main. So it's only on your turn. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards with energy costs larger than or equal to the amount of the total energy they have and KO it. So, so you can always get rid of something pretty big with this or something pretty cheap with this. And it's a cheap removal spell, so um, extra cards so is always good to have. And then Super Saiyan Go Tanks, just two. Just to splash it in there, it's a go tanks. Why not? A lot of people like the card, so I just threw it in there mainly because of that. Um, if I had other choices to play instead, I would have chose something else. I probably would have put a Broly or something, some big drop Broly. Um, but because it's a go tanks deck, I wanted to stay with the theme, so I was like, ah, just throw in the Super Saiyan go tanks. A lot of people like this card, so might as well throw it in there. It's a decent card. Not uh, not something I like, but hey, to each their own. And that's the end of the deck profile.